How's it going everybody? This is Golden Bolt and welcome back for more Pokemon Platinum. In the last episode we went to the Lost Tower and got ourselves the Spell and Cleanse Tag which were just waiting up at the top for us after we used Defog. Sadly, no HM Strength in this game like Diamond and Pearl. And in this episode it's time to leave Salacian Town and head out this way into the jungles. Or whatever you want to call them. Uh, so... I believe this is actually the thing we need to... Uh, and you can come right up here, which is pretty freaking awesome. There you go. Wow, I'm so impressed! Thank you. Thank you, Card Gage. I'm glad you are, because I worked very hard at trying to impress you, I guess. Alright, so we get TM51 from this girl here, which contains Roost, which will basically let your Pokemon land... Let your flying-type Pokemon land and uh, recover some HP, which is pretty, pretty cool, I guess. Kind of useful. Oh, we've got a double battle coming on up here. Let's, uh, let's have Don Lino fight again. I thank you very, very much, sir. As I've said many, many times before, I'm very, very lucky to be a part of this team. Oh, ho, ho, I'll show y'all how tightly I bonded with my daughter. I can get away with slacking off if I have my Pokemon out. Uh, it's, eh, it's an eh, impression, I guess. I mean, it's not the kind of impression I would have, you know, registered deep down. Oh, look, it's a rapid dash. Hey, Snow Comet, if you're ever watching this. There you go. Um... Uh, I'm I'm from Georgia, if I haven't said. Not like from Georgia, that's where I was born, was Georgia. So I don't know if I really have the ability to pull out those kind of roots, because I only lived there for about four years of my life, the first four years of my life. So I'm not entirely sure if I actually have the capability of, you know, pulling out the Georgia accent. I don't even know if that sounds Georgian. If it does and you're from Georgia, let me know and I will give you an internet high five. Ha ha ha! Rapidash is confused. And Dragon Rage on the Ponyta! And let's take him down... Yeah, a yeah, job, Don Lino. It could have been better. Hey, you know what? I'm trying my best. The only freaking move that's good that I have is Dragon Rage, and that's not even a very good move. Hey, sometimes you gotta work with what you got, Don Lino. If you, I mean, you haven't... Well, I don't freaking know you and your time-traveling mafia thing. Oh, come on! Really? Come on! What is that about? Hit yourself in confusion, please. What was that about? We both flinched? You better not die from this, GB. Thank you. Oh, you- Oh, you got burned! Oh, you're dead! Oh, good job, GB! You died to fire-type Pokemon! And Don Lino did not! Wait a- Wait, here. That is me applauding, because... What? Dude, now... What, what is that? Oh, hi there, Don Lino. Hello there, pretty lady. I was talking to Don Lino, you fool, not you, Card Gage. Oh, so I'm a fool again. The man with the destiny is a fool. Perhaps you should learn to respect your masters. You call yourself a me star? Card Gage, I don't know if you saw this dude, but GB just was defeated by fire types! Un Unfreaking acceptable, GB. Like, what is that about? Now, for those. Disclaimer, I'm not actually mad. Um. God dang. Though, but seriously, come on, GB, I mean. I I can't, I'm, I'm just astounded that both, both Pokemon flinched. I'm absolutely astounded that both Pokemon felt the need to flinch. Hello there! What do you have to say? There are a lot of battles over there, and it's actually an item that I might ever get. I might go over and get. I'm a rookie breeder, but I'll do my very best! To breed? With. I mean. Sorry, lady. I'm ve Oh, are you. Oh, you're Pokemon breeder. Okay. Oh no, GB, you better watch out! It's a fire type Pokemon! You better not. Burn to, de to death. I'm sorry, all right? I mean, I got, I got burned and I got stomped on so many times. You got stomped on by a horse, I guess. I mean, that would be kind of painful or whatever Rapidash is, like unicorn type, um, whatever, do freak. Um, I don't know, whatever, we'll put it behind us. Sound good? Yeah, that would be very good. I, keep, I mean, that would destroy my self-esteem. I'm sorry. Okay, I won't bring it up. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring it up. There you go. There's something to raise your self-esteem. You confuse a Togepi. I guess, but I mean, I kind of feel bad. Just beating up this Togepi. I mean, it's just... 
freshly hatched out of its egg and I'm shooting pulses of water at it to make it pass out. Oof, you know what? That is kind of dark. That's something that you're, something as evil Quentin would do, actually. But, you know, work with what you got, I guess. Um, so, we're actually going to, hopefully we don't encounter anybody, because I do want that item over there. Oh, whatever, Rowan. I'm not technically in the grass. Meh! Oh, you can't. Oh, you can't come this way, then. Fine. Be that way, Rowan. Excuse me. Okay, we'll just... We'll just keep going. Let's see what we run into here. Is there anything new? Oh. Just a Staravia. Well, that was... That was interesting. Just so cool. A Pokemon we've never seen before. Staravia. Oh, my good lord. Up here, we've got the Cafe Cabin. Freshly squeezed milk. Well... Oh my god, look! It's little genies! There's four of them! This is the best thing I've ever seen in my life! Look, it's my brethren! Is that what you call them? Your, your Psyduck brethren? I want to hug each and every one of you individually. The Psyduck are standing firm. They aren't inclined. It's okay though, Psyduck. You don't have to move if you don't want to. Oh, look, GB, there's like a little space for you. They left one. They left like a space. See, if I were Ash Ketchum, I'd release you, because that's what he does. But I'm not Ash Ketchum, you're stuck with me forever. <laughs> Actually, that's a good thing. But, I mean, that's what he does. He sees, like, Pokemon, he's like, You gotta go back to your friends now. And that's how things go. Hello there. Hello there, partner. What can I... Can I have a... Reckon I have a word with you? Howdy, traveler. Some of our customers are rowdy types that want to battle. Do what you will with them? I don't mind. What the frick are you talking about, sir? Excuse me, I will not do what I will with this old man, those two do- I'm not- or them, I mean, I- that, No! I will fight them! That's what I'm going to do, you idiot. What you having? Of course, all we ever have is Moo Moo Milk. Then why would you even ask me that? Moo Moo Milk? $500 a bottle? That's a steal! I love a $500 bottle of milk. Mm, put it in, apparently it's medicine milk. Hello, I'm supposed to do what I want with you. <laughs> Welcome, this place is my pride and joy. I hope you're talking about the cafe. <laughs> um, so here we have Waitress Katie. Catty. That's, a, that's an interesting way to actually spell that name. I've never seen that name spelled that way. It's kind of a, it's, that's an interesting way to spell it. Neat. Um, stick out the school fairy like you did the Cleffa once before. Wait, that was a that was a Togepi, not a Cleffa. Well, you did take out that one Clef of the one time in, in uh, Lost Tower because we we made the uh, possible association that it was a uh, that it was a Kirby reference. I wonder if it, that is. I still haven't researched it by at this point, but I totally should. Maybe after this, I'm gonna like here. I'm gonna text out a note to myself, tell him tell him to look that up because if that's how it is, that's gonna be sweet. If that's actually what it is, that would be that would be pretty awesome. There we go, now I'll remember. I'll remember. I take losses with an unusually big smile. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Hello, I'm a collector, and I love honey! Oh, you're one of those guys who want that sweet, sweet honey. Oh, this place is weird. This is like some kind of weird, like... Mm, I don't even know. Anyway, this guy's sending out his munchlax. Munchlax! Ah, uh, everybody loves munchlax for whatever reason. <laughs> He's such a lumpy Pokemon. <laughs> I don't know, I guess he is kind of lovable, isn't he? He's a freaking tank is what he is, though. Good lord. This guy does not- this guy does not budge. We're gonna end up getting paralyzed from his licks, aren't we, GB? Let's hope we can confuse him. Uh, nothing. This guy is a- this guy is a god dang tank right here, though. Stockpiling one. Ha, ah, at least- oh, he ro rose his special defense. Like, good lord. Okay, let's see how much this does now. It's gonna do, like, nothing. It already did, like, barely anything to begin with. Um, aha! There we go, now we have a chance of him hitting himself, that's good. Do it! Hit yourself! Hit yourself! Ah, uh, stop stockpiling and hit yourself, you silly munchlax. Uh, still can't believe what a steal that Moo Moo Milk was, I mean, $500 for a bottle. That sounds like how much money I paid to get my melted candy bars! Oh. You paid... Oh, I th I, I, I'm sorry, Cardgeek. I thought you just walked around just with melty candy bars. I didn't really think that, like, you had, like, I don't know. I guess that makes sense. You got them at some point, right? I did! I got them from the Walmart! 
You went to the Walmart and you got yourselves melted candy bars. Well, they obviously weren't melted when I bought them, but they got that way. Oh. Yeah, I suppose that makes a, I suppose that makes a good amount of sense. Good lord, GB, you better get like a crap ton of experience for this silly munchlap. How about we finish it off by using a move that perfectly represents its face. Confusion! And my face toward whatever the frick this cafe's dealio is. Really, Collector Edwin, that's all you're giving me? What have you done to my Pokemon? Well, I confused it several times and probably drowned it. Uh, I don't feel very happy with myself there. You know what? I'll probably off-screen the rest of these guys here, and we'll make a little bit of progress, um, you know, before we end off the episode here. Let's keep on going this way. It's Route 15! 215! And, uh, Celestic Town, or, and Celestian Town. It's getting very, very rainy here. It sucks that we're gonna have to eventually camp out between this episode and the next one. Hello, sir! Apparently you want to fight. I guess we'll squeeze this last fight in here beforehand, before ending the episode off. I'm a treasure hunter! Today the loot is a victory from you! What? Uh, what? You're not gonna. You know you're not gonna win. You know you're not gonna win with your bronze or You know it's just not gonna happen, dude. Don't even worry about it. Don is gonna use Dragon Rage. Oh, but it's raining, right? Anyway, so I should probably mention rain. Uh, at least in this instance, since I've mentioned it before. But if you've got a Water type Pokemon and you're wanting to train said Water type Pokemon, then this route is possibly one of the better best routes to do it because um. The, you will be getting a plus 50%, I believe, um, a boost to water type moves. That's what Rain does. And, um, which is really, really awesome for training Pokemon because it's just going to be like use a water move, wipe them out. So if you're looking to train your water type Pokemon or you've got like a Bweasel or something, it's pretty standard to have a Bweasel. Um, and, you know, you're looking for some extra levels. This is possibly the best route you could go to, in my opinion. But, you know, just the humble Golden Bolt opinion. Alright, so he's going to be sending out Shield on. Very cool looking Pokemon, I think. I like Shield on. He's, he's kind of adorable. I kind of want to hug him. Maybe just a little bit. Maybe just a lot. Maybe just every second of my life. Uh, see, oh, he didn't quite he didn't quite manage to be defeated by your Dragon Rage, Don Lino. But hey, you're actually like of the levels of the rest of the team now. Once you, once you defeat this Shield on, you're actually going to be good years level, which is yeah, it's pretty good. Year, huh? No, but you came a long way. And I'm very uh, proud to have you on the team, despite whatever is about to happen at whatever time in the future. Don't worry about that, my friend. Just worry about finding Cheryl. Guys, come on. Sh Are you still thinking about this Cheryl thing, man? I'm so over her. It's not even worth talking about. Like, I'm so... Let's, let's just sneak. Let's get this item real quick. And it is a Max Ether. That guy stopped his run for me to collect it. And let's follow him out. Anyway, guys, we're going to end off the episode here. I'm going to hide under this bridge. Not really. I'm going to stand here. We're going to end off the episode here. We will continue our way through the rest of this route and arrive in the next town, maybe in the next episode. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for joining me on this installment of our adventure. For me, too, have a very nice day. And I will see you guys next time.